The use of fresh semen has grown in popularity amongst farmers and service providers over the last number of years. Progressive Genetics is one of these service providers who runs a fresh semen program for the first seven weeks of the breeding season. Agriland caught up with Ross Hamilton, the marketing executive for Progressive Genetics, to discuss some of the common questions farmers have when it comes to the use of fresh semen. It's the fifth day of the Progressive Genetics Fresh uh, Bull program. Um, we have six bulls on the program this year and uh, basically it's about getting the, the best high EBI genomic bulls out to as many farmers as possible and uh, that's what we're doing. We don't use any bull for fresh semen so we do certain criteria. Um, the bulls have calving surveys, um, the bulls have to be in the, the kind of top 5 or 10% for semen quality. Um, so uh, yeah, so basically we, they're high fertility bulls in the first place um, that go on fresh. We don't use any um, Jersey or Crossbred bulls on the Fresh program at the moment. Um, I suppose it's reflective of what our customers want, the bulls that are on it. And uh, uh, yeah, I suppose only one in 20 serves is a Jersey or Crossbred serve in, in dairy cows of dairy serves. So um, no, there's no, no Jersey bulls on at the moment. A couple of key advantages um, in terms of the technicians, they don't have to toss straws. In terms of the farmer, it's allowing for um, greater genetic gain for uh, their herd and the national herd or our service users um, because they're getting more, we're getting more straws out of our highest bulls and uh, that has a trickle down effect then obviously on the, on the national herd and that sort of thing. They're priced the same in that we don't get them all used. We have, we have there's actually five extra drivers on the road delivering it and there's a whole kind of system that goes behind it so really I suppose the value for the farmer is they're getting straws that they wouldn't necessarily get if the bull was frozen. Try to minimize all the risks. Um, so semen is monitored here in the lab. So if a bull's jumped on a Monday, it's obviously past the pass quality control on that day. And the straws are also tested, uh, follow-up tested on the Tuesday and on the Wednesday. So our, our guys would get a text message if for one any reason or another, that bull's quality had kind of gone off a cliff. Um, I think in the last six years, we've only ha pulled the bull once or twice. So it, it doesn't really happen that often as because we've selected the higher fertility bulls in the first place. Well, Munster, obviously a third of the cows in the country are in Cork, but Munster Bovine, um, they, uh, they have 11 bulls on their programme. Um, we obviously alternate bulls as well, but we, we have six bulls on ours. Um, so like that's 17 bulls on fresh in Ireland. Um, I don't see why that can't be. You couldn't add another 10 bulls to it.